In the marketing world, it's extremely important to define your target or your target market. And to define that target market in, in sports organizations, first you have to determine what, what are your goals. Uh, is my goal to win more? Of course, that's for everybody. Is it to get more attendance, you know, more fans? Uh, is it to get more parental support, uh, more community involvement, more money, you know, more, more sponsorship? Um, or, or if it's a, it's a non-profit or even a for-profit sports organization, do you want more members? Do you want more clients? What, what's your angle? What are you trying to get? What, what are your goals? That's what you need to determine, number one. Number two, uh, who's going to help you get there? So if you're trying to get more fundraising, then if you're trying to get more money, then maybe your angle, maybe, maybe the people that are going to help you get there are, are your local businesses, your local business community. Go to the Chamber of Commerce. So the, maybe that's where you need to, to be working. Um, if, it's, uh, if you want to get more attendance, then maybe you, maybe you get that through your student body. So that's maybe your target market. And so how do, now how do you reach that target market? You start coming up with strategies and tactics so that you can reach that, that market. If it's your student body and you want to get them to attend more events and be more excited about your program, then, uh, then number one, communicate with them in a way that they already communicate. Go, go to where they're at. So we're talking Facebook, uh, we're talking mobile marketing or text message marketing it's called. Um, communicate with them through ways that they already communicate and then define a win-win. What do they get out of this? I mean, why, is it, why are students at your school going to come to an event? It had, they, there's got to be something in it for them. Whether it's entertainment, uh, that's where all the cool kids are, or, or whatever, whatever else the case may be, it has to be a win-win. They have to want to go. You can't force them to go. So uh, determine what, you know, how, the, how you're going to communicate with them, uh, why they should come to your event, and, uh, and then spend an hour or, or a, a few hours or a day or whatever the case may be. Develop a system on how you're going to do this. Write it down, document it, and then, as I always say, hand it off to somebody else. An intern or somebody else in your program, a booster or a parent or a supporter, hand it off to them and have them do it for you. Leverage your time. Good luck.